this is a quick video, but will come in very handy. There, when you're editing your page, and let's say you are editing a bunch of content on a page, or you're adding new content to a page, and you're not quite finished with it, you know, it doesn't look quite right, you're not done yet, but you still want the page to be published, and you still want people to see the other content that is on the page, but not just the new content. To do that, you can hide sections or elements or you know columns. You can hide um, any of those on like certain devices. So if you hide them on all devices, it'll completely hide that section, no matter what, no matter what they're on. If we have like a section like this, maybe this call to action. We're just you know here we have some you know filler text in there. We're not quite done with it. We'll we'll just hide it for now. We can do that by clicking the Edit Section button, going to the Advanced tab, click Responsive, and this Visibility option, there is options for Hide on Desktop, Tablet, and Mobile. And with that, you know, we can just say Hide for all three, click Update, and now it's not going to show. Let's go out, test it. There it is, disappeared. Or if we have an option, if we have a section where maybe two sections, sometimes I, I've actually had to do this a few times where a certain section didn't work quite right on mobile, but it worked on desktop, you know, vice versa. So we had to create different sections for different devices. You know, we had to create a section to only show on desktop and tablet, and then we, we needed to hide those on mobile. So to do that, you know, maybe this section looks good on desktop. And so we'll say, okay, so on desktop and tablet, we will show them, make sure it's show. But then on mobile, we don't want it to show on mobile, so we'll hide it on mobile. That's also an option. So with this, with this visibility area, you can do that with, let me go check out some other, most of the elements that you edit, so like this image, most of them have that responsive thing. So you can, you know, hide them. Um, this text, maybe we have text that's on desktop, but some different text for mobile. You can do that. Go to advanced, responsive, hide it on whatever devices. And it also has that way with columns. Columns, I believe, have that. Yep. Okay, so columns don't have that. Um, it is just the sections and the elements. So columns do not let you. Um, I would guess because you know the columns is, are they're a big part of the the page builder, uh, the grid. You know, keeping making sure everything is you know working within the grid. And if you know some of that, if if a piece of that grid is removed or just not showing something it could mess up with the the system so i can understand that part but um, anything else the section or any of these elements that you can edit you can go into the advanced responsive and hide or show them depending on what device you want them to appear on